Hi, Lucy here. Um, what I'm going to do is to uh, take you through a few different um, systems, uh, circulation systems, and show you how they work. Some are going to be very simple, some will be more complicated, and what I'll do on this one right now is just walk you through kind of what the, how the valves are, the, um, uh, the suction side versus the return side, and then kind of show you how to uh, isolate you know, a, a, a skimmer or the shear descent or something like that. So this will be the first one. And if, you know, I'm gonna be doing like two or three, maybe four, I don't know yet, uh, just to show you the differences in the systems that the plumbers put in and for certain reasons, some have uh, waterfalls and not. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the camera and just walk you through this and then uh, we'll go from there. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're kind of in a tight spot, but um, all right, so any time um, on the section side is anything this side of the pump okay so that's the pump and um, anything that goes like from here that way is the return but I'll explain that in a minute but on the section side right now we have uh, the pool vac is over here the main drain is here the skimmer is there and then the spa now on a system if it's not labeled uh, I'll, I'll tell you in a second how to do it but uh, most of the time the spa you'll see the line will be isolated from the rest so if I can come out here a little bit see how where it goes into the pump okay this is a, a T and this is the electronic valve um, and so the spa is off to the side and it'll be the same on the return and then you have the skimmer pullback and main drain now one of the things about these particular valves is very deceptive it, it appears that the water would be going this way because that's the way the arrow is but that's not how it is if you look very close and I'll try to get this uh, I don't know if this says closed so what that means is right now the pullback is closed, the main drain's open, and the skimmer's open. Now if I just want the main drain being open completely, I'll go like this. So the water will come up here, go here, and this is going to be blocked off. It'll go into here, and since this is blocked off, go into the pump. Same thing if I want the main drain closed. Well, actually, I don't even have to do that because all I have to do on this one is go here. So, so forget that. We don't have to even touch this. If we want the uh, these closed and only the skimmer open, and that's what you want to do when you want to vacuum a pool, you want to open up the skimmer. So this is now closed. It's isolating off uh, that part of the pool. The suction is going to be in the skimmer, and then, again, the spa is still closed. Now, on these electronic valves, if you want to manually do them, there is a little underneath here. See that? So that's if I want to manually turn the valve for any, like if I feel like I want to uh, clean the spa out and I don't want to turn the entire, like the um, return and the section, so I just do that, open that up, and so I can clean out the the uh, spa and brush it. Okay, now, so that's the that is the suction side. Okay, when after the pump, all right. So this starts the return. And come here, and you see it says inlet for the filter. Okay. And then this is the outlet uh, down here. All right, so we're gonna follow that. If you have a heater, it goes into the inlet on the heater. And then, of course, the return goes over to here. And see all that little jumble of mess? We're gonna figure that out right now. I'll show you. Okay, so uh, on this pool, under everyday conditions the water comes out of the heater and now when the spa valve is this way and now it says closed here but there's nothing here so what that means is that the water is diverted over this way and that way 
All right, if I want to shut the the spa, oh, it's okay, now this one is set so it, it doesn't shut. There's a whole explanation for that, but <laughs> that'll be another time. But actually I have, um, I have a, a, a video on that, an actuator valves. All right, so right now the water is coming through here, diverting halfway to the spa, and, and you see way over there, it's an elevated spa. And you always want to have some water coming, going back to the spa. Not sucking from the spa every day, but going to it, okay? It's very important. Then, um, this one has a sheer descent. So we have a little bit, let's see, like that, going into the sheer descent. And then you come here, and a little bit's going to the pull return, and then to the waterfall. So, I'll show you. Um, I'm going to turn this on and show you directly all right Tiny. all right so when you are not sure this is what you can do i just cleaned the filter so that's why it's taking a little time to find Okay, so the system's on, and um, what I want to show you is, so see how this uh, shear descent is a little bit open, and I'll show you over there, all right, that's that, really pretty. I'm going to close it, and then you see now that it's closed. So I'm going to... So I'm going to do the same thing, but um, now I'm going to open up the shear descent valve. And then I'm going to close the waterfall. So you see how you can like play around with the valves here. And go back, because we like their waterfall running. And if you happen to want like only the waterfall, then you shut the shear descent and the pull return, and you've got the nice waterfall. Okay. All right, see. And that would look like that. So I have the shear descent closed, the pull return closed, and the waterfall all the way open. But we don't really want it like that. We want a little more circulation. So I'm going to open up the pool a little bit. Open up the sheer descent. And I'll open that up a little more. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So that's, uh, that's this pool. And um, we'll go on. Oh, let me just show you real quickly about the thing about the suction side. <clears throat> now, anytime, if you don't have these labeled, um, what you want to do is you want to open, open everything, all right? So we won't, we won't worry about the pullback right now. So you have the main drain and the skimmer open, and let's say you don't know which one it is if it's not labeled. So what you do is you only close, you always make sure one thing is open. So I'm going to... Close that, and then I'm going to come over to the skimmer. Now, this is a, this. I know that that's the skimmer, but let's say you don't know. So then you look in here, and when it's like you know pulling, then you know that's the skimmer. But let's say you were to um, you were to not know, and you go over there, and nothing's pulling from the skimmer, then pretty much you know it's from the main drain. Um, and the same with the pullback, you'd have to just go and feel the side of it. So right now, uh, I'm going to leave this like half and half. So this is pulling from the skimmer, pulling from the main drain, uh, nothing from the spa right now because you don't, if, if we're pulling from the spa and it's, a, it's an elevated spa like that, well, uh, uh, it would drain it, okay? So make sure that on the suction side, the spa valve is always closed. All right, so that's about it. Um, we're going to... This is a little bit complicated, but you know, this is this is a reality that happens. And um, 
So we're going to go on. I'm going to do uh, a couple more of these. They'll be different and um, hopefully it'll help you. Okay, see you soon. Okay, next system. This is a little bit simpler, but in one way it's complicated because the lines go underneath the ground. So here we are again. This is the suction side. And how you know it is because it's in front of the pump. And just remember, if you find it confusing, anything that comes out of the pump and into the filter is the return side that starts the return okay so we're on the section here now um, the skimmer is open because this valve this is the for the the cleaner this is on so if we wanted uh, to shut the skimmer we'd go like that the main drain is also open halfway if we wanted to shut that we go like that. <clears throat> so what that would mean is that, let's say in this situation, right, the second, the cleaner would be on 100%. Okay, because the spa section's closed, the main drain's closed, the skimmer's closed, but you, you really don't want to run the cleaner 100%. So we're gonna open this up. And, uh, and let's say right now I want a vacuum, so I leave it like this because we want the main drain closed and, and now this is a different valve. This says, see how this says off? All right, that's a little bit easier to see. Um, so this would be off. Again, the spa suction on the, on the suction side is always off. Um, and the spa return should be half open because again, this is an elevated spa. And um, even if it wasn't, you just want to, the spa suction to be closed on uh, all the time and then the return to be open. So it goes into, from the pool. So right now everything's coming from the pool and then it's gonna go back to the pool and the spa. All right, so let's put this how we normally have it. So right now, I'm coming in the skimmer and the pool vac and the main drain, okay? Going into the pump and then we come here again the inlet, okay, getting filtered, coming to return out of the filter. Now here's the thing, that goes right into the ground. Uh-oh, so, <laughs> uh, because they have a heater, you have to come over here, and we see that, so it goes underneath the ground, and this is the inlet, so this is coming from the filter into the heater, back out, the heater and then we come all the way over here and now it's coming up this one and, and how we know it is because it's got to go to one or the other of the spa or the pool so um, if we want the spa on we would shut that remember this is off okay this is isolating this is stopping all the flow going back to the pool and for the spa same thing we turn this, okay? So now we've isolated the pool section and the pool return, and we have the spa going, all right? So hopefully that makes sense. So then when you turn this back, you want on the section side, you want the spa closed, and on the return, you want it halfway, okay? So that it's get, got, it has fresh water going in. So that's uh, an example of another uh, system that is a little bit easier than the first one. But as I go along these, you know, all of a sudden it'll just click in your head. This all makes sense, okay? Onward to the next one. Okay, so this is about as straightforward as you can get. Um, and this is pretty common configuration. All right, so what we have here is the inlet, you know, anything again be, before the pump. Remember, anything that goes up and into the filter is going to be the outlet. So anything before the pump, all this down here is the inlet, the suction side. All right, so what we have here is uh, the spa is closed. Remember that? It says off. The cleaner is closed. And this 
down here is where are we is the skimmer and when it's when it's like here so we have the um, the cleaner closed the spa closed now notice there's no main drain which means on this particular pool you have the skimmer and the main drain together on the same line so even though it says skimmer you know because there's no main drain I know they're attached so uh, if we want to uh, use the spa remember we turn this valve and you never want to go that way in fact these handles are made so that and I, I've shown this in another video but right here there's like this little notch and this little ledge here and and you can only put the handle on one way so this is the little skinny uh, side and these are fatter so when you look in here this is over here is the skinny uh, over here the skinny side and the rest are fat so it can it, you can't you can't like put it on this way so it goes one way and then it will oops, it, it will stop because you don't if I lift it up and I go like this that's closing off the suction okay so that's why there's like this default thing so now if I wanted to use the jacuzzi or the that's a brand name the hot tub I would go like this that opens up the spa and then I come to the to the uh, return remember like from the pump it goes into the filter goes out of the filter into the heater out of the heater and uh, to the return valves so right now the way it's facing is because this is here the off is here which there's nothing there um, that means the water is going both ways so if I want to uh, use the jacuzzi now I've got the bottom make sure it's like make sure it's open I mean make yeah open all the way and so for this side we're gonna go this way remember this shuts this off open the spa so right now the spa will be isolated so that when you turn the heater on uh, it you know you're not heating up the entire pool and then when you turn it back you always want water going back into the spa and the pool but on the suction side you if you left it this way then you may drain your spa so you always on the suction side you always have the spa closed on the suction but returning uh, to the spa and the pool on the return and then the water will will go over the uh, ledge there oh sorry one thing if you're a pool service person but even if you're not if this is your house and you can't remember um, where the the uh, handle goes what I do for my clients is I label them so um, I'll, I've got to refresh it but it says for spa <laughs> handle points here same here I put handle points this way for daily use which there is the handle all right points that way for daily use and then I have down here handle points that way for the spa so they know that they just need to turn the handle that way for the spa okay so just a little uh, you know it'll help you out all right that's it okay so um, here's another one now from the looks of it on the suction side it looks really simple uh, basically again remember anything before the pump is the suction side uh, whenever there's um, the spa, there's a spa, there's, it's isolated from the pool, okay? So on here, it's, uh, this valve controls either the skimmer or the, it says bottom drain section, which also could be labeled the main drain. Um, when people think of a drain, they think, oh, this draining the pool. Well, it's not. It's just that bottom uh, drain. <laughs> and um, so if I want to vacuum the pool, I would shut that off. So we're shutting the spas shut off and the bottom drains off. So it gives you more suction for uh, skimming for the vacuum. Now this has an in-floor cleaning system. So, you know, most of the time it shouldn't apply. So anyway, we go um, to the pump. And again, uh, this is the outlet. Uh, so that starts the return. This filter, um, is, uh, the inlet is on the bottom and then we go uh, to the return that's in the top and it goes 
over to there. So I'll walk over here. Here's where it gets really complicated. So that's that pipe. So now it goes here and then underneath this and it and it this is a check valve because right here it splits off to the solar or the return to the pool. So if you want it to go to the solar uh, the valve would be turned the other way. Right now we have the solar off because there's a leak. But on this one, the solar, if it were to uh, go there, it would go here. And then all the way over there. <laughs> and then it goes underground all the way over to, comes back up. Uh, usually it's on the right side, but it's, you know, right there. And then comes back down, comes back over here, and this says from solar. So it's you know remember this one, this one right here uh, goes down to the solar. Now this one is coming up from the solar. Okay, and now you notice it's on the same uh, line. It's teed with the return. It says to the heater. So basically, it's going to the pool. So once it comes from the solar. It's going here, here, and to the heater. All right. Now, from the heater, it comes out, and then it meets with a valve right away. And this side is going to the spa, and the other side is going to uh, the pool. <laughs> okay. So now it goes down to again underground. Now see, so I'm gonna take a like a big big overview of this. And you see how like complicated these can be. So sometimes it's easier to have another person with you to like turn a valve, go to the pool or spa, uh, see where everything is, um, you know, just to help you out. So then the last thing on this one is so when it went underground you know uh, it says to the pool now this is an in-floor cleaning system the, the thing that I don't think is a good idea about um, this pool um, and whenever you have a pool built they don't have like a uh, uh, in their pool itself they don't have return lines they only have the in-floor cleaning system as a return system so if something were to go wrong with this, there's no valve I can turn to make it come out of the side of the pool, which is not a good idea. All right, so uh, so you can see actually, these are the ports, you know, each of these goes to a different section. This is the, um, the check valve, so that we know pretty much this one is for the spa. Okay, so uh, let me walk back over there. Okay, so basically you see how like, um, so this is their entire system, the panel, uh, but you know, and, and this is just a part of it because there's the solar over there, the in-floor cleaning system. So um, it can, um, you know, uh, systems can, can get very complicated. So you saw the, the video before this was super simple and then you get into the little more complicated stuff. So um, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm probably just gonna show a couple more after this, because I, you know, this just gives you an idea of what uh, kind of you need to get an idea about. Okay, all righty. Let's see you in the next one. Okay, I think this will be the last one. So this is a relatively straightforward system, but the reason I um, chose to do this one is because it has a heater bypass. All righty. So now, again, where is the suction side? Okay, so it's before the pump. All right, remember this, all this other stuff is the pool side. And when it's, you know, it, the spa is isolated on its own, okay? Um, so when you go use the spa, you know, it's just a quick, that valve and then the return side, okay? Which is there. And got the, got the blower in a way, okay? So that will be, you know, it's, uh, that will be, the way that it, it'll be for the spa now. Okay, so here's the thing. Real quickly, suction side, we have the skimmer is open. Um, 
main drain is not completely closed it's just a slight open because this is a three horsepower pump so if you just had the skimmer and the cleaner open it would just be too strong so I just cracked the main drain and then this cleaner which is the pool vac um, is a little bit open uh, sometimes in most pools when it's like a two horsepower pump you know the valve is usually like that and see how stupid they are they like put these so close together if that ever happens you can just cut cut one of these handles like right there just to give you some space anyway so with the cleaner um, about right there is enough for it to do really well because again three horsepower uh, and then we go into the pump coming out here so I put a little arrow going into the filter it even says inlet um, uh, and then it comes back out now here's where it gets interesting if you look at this pipe here all right so this long old thing is um, going to the inlet see there's the arrow all right the inlet of the heater and then it comes out here and now the interesting thing is in between there's a bypass valve right now it's open and this is really important for people that have heaters and when you um, if not enough water is going into a heater uh, you'll hear crackling noise and so you have to be sure um, that ow, there's a bug biting me you have to be sure that the bypass valve is closed if you want to use the heater so um, and for some reason this isn't closing all the way and so I don't want to force it I'll, have, I'll take it apart later so let's just imagine this is all the way here and it's closed so what does that do it forces now the water that's coming out of the the filter this is blocked off it doesn't matter which way the valve is is you know because uh, it'll be blocked off whether the valve is facing this way or that way and so that means it's forcing this the water into this pipe into the heater and then it comes back out after the bypass valve um, uh, into to where the valve is for either the pool or the spa and there's the blower right in the way and so remember what I was saying earlier that um, that you have to have um, uh, the water returning to the spa so this valve is set that half the water is returning to the spa and half the water is returning to the pool all right so uh, I think that's it for this one so uh, you know but basically I just wanted to show you the um, this bypass valve and again you know like they don't use it hardly ever uh, so I'm not worried about it but uh, what happens is um, in the winter time the advantage of having a bypass valve is that uh, when it gets if you don't run the system at night but even if you do the water is goes through the the heat exchange and they're really 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 tiny tubes and so um, sometimes they have a tendency to uh, get blocked with ice so in the winter it's not a bad idea to have um, a bypass valve but you just have to remember when you use the heater you have to shut the bypass valve so that it forces all the water um, back into the heater okay that's really important okay so um, I hope you learned something and um, come visit me on my website uh, and you know hopefully you have learned by looking at all the different systems the different options and variables um, be depending on the different features okay um, hope it helps and we'll see you on the next video bye